Zone three. David, uh, I'm sorry, David Swab uh, from Austin, Texas. I have a question pertaining to the convertible uh, bonds that were outstanding for about four years. Um, any thoughts on if you're a teacher to grade, if that was a good deal, bad deal, uh, how the money was applied compared to the cost of getting out of the bonds? Any thoughts? Charlie, we want to know if you think in retrospect your deal with the Lions was a good deal for Berkshire. No, I would say that uh, that if I knew everything at the time that we did the Lions deal, which was a convertible zero coupon debenture, if I knew everything now, then that I know now, would we have done it? Probably pretty close. But, uh, we had relatively few bonds converted when we called when we called them, and so that it really wasn't a negative in that sense, but if, if we had more, con we could have easily had a lot more converted, and, and the, that would not have been so good, obviously, if we'd ended up selling a lot of stock at 11,800 or whatever it was. Uh, it's very hard to measure exactly what we did with the 400 million or so that, that we took in at the time. So I, 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 money being fungible, uh, separating that 400 million from other resources to measure the what happened on the, the plus side from having the money is hard to do. But my guess is, if you could play the whole hand over again, it probably was a, maybe a tiny minus to have issued them. What do you think, Charlie? Certainly close to a wash. Yeah. Now you can ask about U.S. Air, and that is one we would have been well to duck. Yeah. And I'm, I might say, Charlie had nothing to do with that decision. He didn't even know about it until I did it. And when he knew about it, hmm. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.